There are troubles that are necessary troubles. I have a daughter who has given birth to triplets. And her biggest problem of going to church, she has to even resign from work. How can you take care of triplets? One year of marriage. I'm not talking to somebody here at all. Isn't it Wahala? If you are paying fees, you pay three times. Somebody was telling me that the school fees for the three children is 12000 So just imagine, while some are paying 4000 he will be paying. It means that the capacity of this lady has expanded. Now, I can see somebody who doesn't know that God has deposited already in him or her the seed. And all that God says that I'm blessing you. See, when God says, I am blessing you, all that he's saying is that I am empowering the seed. God's blessing doesn't empower somebody's seed. It empowers your seed. So, God blessed them and said, multiply. That business idea will multiply. Genesis chapter 3, verse 2, you will know that the devil deceived Eve not with the seed, he deceived Eve with the fruit. He said, The fruit of the garden. The fruit of the garden. Do you know why Jesus saw a fig tree? That was not bearing fruit and cast it to die. Because when Adam and Eve sinned, instead of them going for the lamp, they went for a fig tree, the fig leaf, to cover themselves. It is called deception. Many Christians live in deception. No one for say, oh, if you're America, but that boy, I'm a bottom. No one I came to realize something in this earth. Eh? On people see that you are great, they never support you. Nobody supports anything that is not succeeding. If you are, say you are going to climb a tall tree, they will say, oh, you can't, you can't, you can't. When you get to the top, then they will show you this one is ripe. Bring it down. This, they are down. When you bring it, then they are eating. This one is ripe. Bring it down. But when you say they should push you, they will tell you this thing is impossible. So when Jesus was hungry, and he met the fig tree. He said, fig, give me something. The fig said, me. I don't have anything to give you. I bet you have come to shed your blood. And Jesus said, what are you doing? Said, ah, did they talk? If they didn't talk, why did Jesus say die and the tree died? Because the tree had Jesus. Let me tell you something here. I tell people this. Then listen. You speak to inanimate object. They hear you. People train dogs. And when you tell the dog, come, the dog, come. You say, dog, sit, they sit, right? Let me tell you, don't let anybody tell you that you cannot speak to demons and those animals and don't hear you. The truth is that if you build yourself so strong in the spirit, you can, if the devil comes through a, a plant, you will command the plant to die, the plant will die. If it comes by a dog, you command the dog to die, the dog will die. Why? Because those spirits can hear Plants here. Animals here. Don't be fooled. Come on, give the Lord a mighty clap offering here. Say in the name of Jesus. Any deception in my life I curse it to die. You know what is deception? You are going to school, right? And then they come and they call abrochere. So you stop learning. You are waiting to go to abrochere. It is deception. That thing must die. The person doesn't have any intention of taking you anywhere. 
The person doesn't have any intention of helping you. The only way the person can stop you from focusing on your vision and your assignment is to give you another assignment. Jesus look at that fig tree and said, either you give me something to eat now or vacate from this earth. And when he said the disciples thought he was joking, they went the following day, when they were coming in the evening, the three had been dead from the roots. He just looked at her and said, listen, whoever says to this mountain, mountains have voices. He was just telling them, that, you think I spoke to a tree? Whoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou moved and be ye cast into the sea, it shall be done. Why? Mountains also have voices and they have ears. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Any deceptive spirit around me, inside me, making me go wayward, out of my purpose, die, 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 disappear in the name of Jesus. Come on, give the Lord a mighty clap offering here. If you clap better, your hands will succeed. Amen. That's when they give you fake medicine. You take it and it doesn't do anything. You meet the right medicine one day, you are okay. I'm not talking to somebody here at all. Say any deceptive idea. Look, Satan can give you a fig tree idea. It looks like it's a lucrative lifestyle. Or banana who is shepherd or a trouble. The guy you see as if he's shepherd is trouble. I was talking to one of my daughters. I said, listen to me. Don't marry a guy because he drives a car. Find out if he bought the car. If it is a gift, he's not rich. You didn't hear me. A blessed man is the person who can reproduce. Years ago, when we got to Malam, I saw people who had not, I met a lady who had a degree and yet was pounding for food to eat. A lady who pounds for food and stares at the job bar with degree. I met her, prayed for her, she got a job. Before long, a lot of people in the church became millionaires. And one day, they came to me and were like, oh, this and this. I said, it can't happen. Because I didn't agree with them. They packed them things, did some funny coup d'etat, they left the church. When they left, Andrew came to me and said that, now that they are gone, <coughs> what do we do? You know what I told him? I said, by the grace of God, I laid hands on them and they became. We are laying hands on a new generation and they will become. Listen, one of my daughters sent me a message. He said, some, his, her things are somewhere, and the person is saying this. I said, hey, 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 come now, come now. The things, when you came to the bridge, did you have them? He said, no. I said, so when the person says, if you don't come, you destroy what happened to you? He said, I'm worried. I said, why should you be worried? Any time you concentrate on a thing, it's because you don't have it. I'm not boasting, no. God is my witness. Anybody I lost, I got the person back in another form, in a better way. <laughs> Those who have worked with me long, Pastor Charles will tell you, Pastor David, they will tell you. I got always, I, you know why? Because the ability to reproduce is a sign that you are a blessed man. I repeat it. Abraham gave gifts to his children, but gave gifts and blessed Isaac. There's a big difference. You are blessed. I said you are blessed. I said you are blessed. I shout it and I plead it on your behalf. You are blessed. Look at someone say, I think I'm blessed than you or what? Are you jealous? I think I'm blessed than you. Are you jealous? Tell us, me, I can multiply. I am fruitful. And I replenish. 
everywhere I go. If you judge a man, most rich people, it's poor people who are judged by their cars. Most rich people, if you go into their accounts, it's zero. Some of them, if you go, it is debt. They have overdraft. They have loans. Oh, I'm not talking to somebody here. But what they have outside, the businesses that are running, can even buy the bank. So when I see people fighting over things, I know they don't have it. <laughs> what happened? My TV fell. TV? Your TV fell. <laughs> you got that disappointed me. What? TV. I saw somebody crying. <laughs> What's the problem? My iPhone, my iPhone, my iPhone. So, oh, you see, they sent it to me from London. I said, that's why you cry. <laughs> And most of you, when you lose things, you forget that you have the ability to multiply. <laughs> Why are you crying? You have the ability, if it was through you, that the thing came to pass. Through you, many can come to pass. Don't give up on yourself because everything you need is already deposited in your spirit. Amen? Your amen is not good at all. I said your amen is not good at all. Do you know that even animals like snakes, they change skin. Do you know that you human meat, you change your skin? Now, because it is you, you don't know. We all change our skin. If we're a child, the first teeth you have is not the one you will use to chew bone. Because if, if God gives you that teeth, you will destroy your mother's breast. Am I preaching here? So, the first set of teeth are very fragile. But when you start chewing bone, then God is, as you chew the bone, crack, then one will remove. Crack. Then when we are young, we should laugh at people and do this. I don't know if you remember. But you know what? Very soon, the one that comes here is stronger than the one that got broken. And I came to tell somebody, don't think you have lost anything. Something new is about to spring up in your body. A new body part is about to appear. A new body part is about to appear. A new success is about to appear. A new breakthrough is about to appear. If you're the one I'm preaching to, be on your feet and jump and start. I receive it. Shout, I don't lose, ho. Oh, you can take your seat. Look, never, you see, the righteous shall flourish. Shout, I am righteous. Righteous people don't flourish. They even bear fruit in their old age. Abraham had more children with Keturah at his old age. Something new is happening in somebody's body. You lost that business, but a better business is coming. That door was shut, but a greater door is opening. Shout, I receive this one. I was having departmental training yesterday. And is it Henry put a plat someone on the platform and asked, What's the difference between worry and what? Eh? 
thinking, thinking and worrying. And I said, the answer is simple. When you are thinking about the problem, you are worrying. When you are thinking about the solution, you are doing what? So the difference between worrying and thinking right is in worrying, you are thinking about the problem. Nobody thinks about the problem and solves it. People don't come to church. People don't come to church. <laughs> God, so they are not coming. I pray that they are not coming. Sit down. What should I do for people to come to church? Now you are not worrying. At this stage, you are thinking right. <laughs> As for me, no man is proposing. Yeah, this which is a. Should I go for holy water? No, go for mommy water. When you start thinking, what must I do right? What values must I add up? Because sometimes, listen, the person you want to marry and your character, they don't agree. That character, the, the character you have, the kind of people who propose are the people who float in your character range. But the kind of people you want, you must upgrade your character range. I just gave somebody a word. Give the Lord a hand. Genesis chapter 9 verse 1. And God blessed Abraham. So God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish. I repeat it. Every blessing of the Lord contains this three. I bless you. You see, you see look at them. Let me give you an example. Have you seen that people in the Arab country, they are succeeding? I don't know if you know that. You know why? You see, the environment you create is important. If you meet all of those people in the north, how do they greet? Who can help me? Shalom. Salam alaikum. Peace be unto you, right? How do you also greet? Good morning. So every day we have good morning. But Lamentations 3.17 says, because I lack peace, you have taken prosperity from me. Anytime they meet each other and say, Shalom, Assalamu Alaikum, they are saying, let there be prosperity. Yeah. Every time, Assalamu Alaikum, peace be unto you, Shalom, Shalom. Christians, good morning. Morning, oh. So every day you get up, good morning. Receive peace in your home. Receive peace in your life. Receive peace in your business. Okay, look at someone and say, Shalom. Say, in the name of Jesus, I have what it takes. Now, give me Genesis chapter 25. I want us to do something. You are going to lay hands on your belly. Genesis 25. And Isaac prayed. Twenty-one to twenty-two, Isaac prayed for his wife. There's an atmosphere here. I want you to pray for anything in your life that is not working. Twenty-five seconds. Just lay hands on your womb. Why? Because the thing is in your womb. That car you have is not succeeding of anything. You bought it. That house you brought it. That child you brought the child. The thing is in the belly. It's inside you. The seed is inside you. You thought of it. That's why you bought it. You planned it. That's why you executed it. Bless it. Bless it. Isaac prayed. You 
can't give your business idea to someone and the person is succeeding. No amount of surplus. Hagar, no. You pray. You have what it takes, Sarah. Pray, 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 pray. Keep praying. Then Genesis chapter 30, 22 to 24. Say, oh Lord, open the womb of my spirit. Genesis 30, 22 to 24. And God remembered Rahel and God hearkened to her and opened her womb. Now listen to me. God hearkened to God hearkened to if nobody will pray, you see, the husband said, Am I my God? Instead of she going to trust God, she went to give maid, maid, maid. But when she realized that still she needed a child, she herself, herself, went to pray to God. And the Bible said, And God hearkened to the husband. Oh, answer me. And God remembered right here. And God, no, hearkened to the husband. Hacking to the pastor, hacking to the priest, the Lord hacking to her. Say, Lord, make me fruitful in my womb. Make me fruitful in my business. Make me fruitful in the work of my hands. Make me fruitful in everything I do. Remember me and make me fruitful. Pray right now. She herself prayed. Sarah didn't pray. Sarah, my mom, pray. Pray. And the Lord remembered her. Why? Has God forgotten her? Look at me, oh Lord, answer my prayer. Restore my strength, don't let me die. Look at me, Rahel. I have given my life to others. I have given what I can give to somebody. You know? Keep singing. Look at me. Listen. 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 Be on your feet. I don't like the way you are praying. Say, Lord, I have to give birth. I have to build a business. I have to help people to make it in life. I have what it takes. Just like Rahel prayed. And you remembered her. Me too. I have fasted this 21 days. Please, you did three days. Say your own. Say, I have fasted this 21 days. Look at me. And remember me. Oh, yeah, pray. I don't know what else I'm so. Let's pray. Do you pray? You pray. If I look, pray, pray. Be aggressive. Listen, Rahel, you gave Bill her and other people the opportunity, but you are about to bet a Joseph Kalabako to be this. One you are going to birth is the one that will change the economic status of the family. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. If I pray, my whole family and my love too. Oh, my 
adopt you, be bad for It is not like your own. Uh, okay, I'm a branch pastor. No problem. Open a branch and still call it bridge ministries. Make a branch. You have what it takes. I said you have what it takes. Now take your seat. Verse 22. Let's read. And God remembered Rahel and hearkened to her and opened her womb. And she conceived and bare a son and said, God has taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. Look, she is now activating the multiplicity. The husband said, Am I my God? That is, uh, forgive me, Otunufu. Because we know, oh, Ma. You have children with Leah. Leah's maid have given you children. Me, I come to you that give me a child because I remember that daddy prayed for mommy and mommy had a child. You to prayer. You say, Am I God? When the person will not pray, when nobody will pray for you, what if there was no priest in the world? What if there was no doctor in the land? Will you die? And she gave birth, she conceived and bare a son and called him Joseph. You all know what Joseph came to do, right? I don't know what Joseph came to do. He was the dreamer who saved the entire world from economic hardship. You know why your womb has been closed? Because that business is what will feed many. You didn't hear me there. You didn't hear me there. That I, let me tell you, I tell people, and I was discussing this with my wife. You see, when people still vision, you don't get what we They can never do it like you. So the fact that somebody is doing things like you, we have true fast. They have companies that have opened that also called True Fast. And Sometimes you do things and people will do some. But never think that because you are doing it and someone is doing some, that doesn't mean you should do yours. Because yours is the original. When the original comes, the fake will vanish. Many a times we look at those who have done what I was about to do it and he's going to do it. Then I'm not going to do it again. No. No. You are the originality of the idea. And if God gave it to you, you carry the seed. The other one that borrowed it, when challenges come, he will not know how to solve it because it was not buried by God. It's copy. When the copy, when you take things to court and those things, and the thing is being the thing they ask is bring authentic one. Go to the embassy. They say bring a photocopy and bring the original. Without the original, the photocopy is fake. The originality of your life has been kept inside your womb because somebody is going around saying that I'm a seamstress, I'm a tailor, I'm a this, me too, I'm a pastor. And because of that, you say, let them do it. No, today I came to tell Rahel that you must bear fruit, you must multiply, and you must replenish the earth. So if the idea is the original one in you, you must bear it. And the Bible said, Rahel, after she has prayed, somebody said, I have to pray. I did say I have to pray. <laughs> when I was going to start church, God, um, so, somebody told me, why are you starting church? There are so many churches. I said, no church is like bridge. And when you start, people came and said, I'm coming from this church. This is how we do it. I said, this is not that church. Bridge is not that church you came from. If it is that church, we should be a branch. The reason why we are what we are is because we are unique in ourselves. We have a seed in ourselves. So we don't do what everybody's doing. 